Guys, are you suffering with uh, finding the bond order? Okay, by following the traditional method. Okay, by taking more time and all. Don't worry. I am here. I am your DPK sir. Our chemistry is very easy with the uh, DPK sir. Let me tell you a super trick to find bond order for uh, diatomic particles here. So, guys, what is bond order? Bond order is nothing but the number of bonds between the two atoms, right? So, you see, for example, if you take the two hydrogen atoms, in the dihydrogen, how many bonds are there? One bond. So, bond order is equal to one here. Okay, bond order is equal to one for two oxygen atoms. Okay, bond order is equal to two, and between the two nitrogens, triple bond is there. So, bond order is equal to three. So, these are the known molecules. Then, how to find the bond order for the okay, the different particles here? So, for that, now let us see that here. Generally, to find the bond order, we are following this formula that is equal to half of the difference between the bonding and anti-bonding electron. This is the traditional method. Okay, this is the, the traditional method. Correct. So let us, okay, by got this traditional method, okay, for our popular exams here. Then how to find the bond order means, let me tell you a super trick to find the bond order. So that bond order is equal to the formula I'm telling you guys, a wonderful formula it is, that is 3 minus n by 2. That's all simple. So what is n here? So where n is equal to difference from the 14 electrons. Okay, it is a difference from the 14 electrons. Let me tell you how to find the bond order for the various molecules. So for example, you guys see these molecules here. Okay, B2 is here. You just find the total number of electrons here. So total how many electrons are there? Here two boron atoms are there. Each boron atom contains a five electrons. So total number of electrons are the 10 electrons. And what is the L? L means 10 to 14. How much difference is there? Difference is a 4 here. So here N value is equal to 4. So therefore bond order is equal to what here? So 3 minus 4, 3 minus 4 upon 2 here. Okay, 4 upon 2 that is equal to, okay, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. That's also bond order is equal to 1. In 10 seconds, I'm very sure in 10 seconds you can answer the question here. So what is the bond order for the C2? Here very simple, same as here. Okay, two carbon atoms are there, 2 into 6 electrons, that is equal to 12 electrons here. So if the number of electrons are the 12, N is equal to what here? 14 to 12 electron difference. 14 to 12 electron difference is a 2 here. So N is equal to 2. So therefore the bond order is equal to what here? Bond order is equal to 3 minus 2 by 2. 2 by 2 means it is equal to 1. So 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Bond order is equal to 2. See how fast we can solve this here. So for N2, what is the bond order? So here 2 nitrogens are there. 2 into 7 electrons. Okay, that is equal to 14 electron here. So N is equal to what here? 14 to 14 difference is equal to 0. So N is equal to 0. So therefore bond order is equal to 3 minus 0 by 2. 0 by something. Okay, is equal to 0. So 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. Bond order is equal to 3, right? So like this, you can solve the bond order. So so now I'm giving you these three for your practice here. Okay, you just practice and comment your answer here. So same as, okay, not only for the homodiatomic, you can apply the same formula for the ionic particles also. You just follow that here. So for example, okay, this is already we calculated, okay, so that bond order is equal to what here? So bond order is equal to 3 minus total 2 oxygen are there, 2 into 8 electrons, 16 electrons, 14 to 16 difference is a 2 here. So 3 minus 2 by 2 is equal to 1, that is equal to bond order is equal to 2. Now here, total number of electrons, you have to count, total number of electrons are the 17, correct now? O2 minus 1 is a 17 electron, 14 to, okay, 17 difference is a 3, so N is equal to 3, hence the bond order is equal to 3 minus 3 by 2, 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5, 3 minus 1.5 is equal to 1.5, like that you, you guys have to practice for these examples, wonderful formula it is. Now you can also apply this formula, okay, to calculate the heterodiatomic particles like, uh, okay, CO, CO plus, NO, NO plus, okay, CN, CN plus, CN minus, okay, CN minus, like that, any number of examples you can calculate. So it's a wonderful formula. We have some limitations for this. This formula is applicable for the 8 to 20 electronic species only, 8 to 20 electron species, if less than 8 are there, how to do that? Okay, for that, you please contact the DPK sir, okay, at 93424 Okay, this is my contact number, call me, okay, uh, you will get the wonderful tips here. Thank you, guys.